years ago, before the internet, definitely, where here we see what? We see the, the bulk telephone. We don't see any computers anywhere. We see typewriters. And this one's really old one here. Uh, and this is what we used in those days, and we did marketing. Right. So let's go one step further. All right. Now, what is marketing, actually? Now, this is the definition of marketing as we knew it. Well, marketing is a collection of activities that bring buyers and sellers together to make exchange. Very logical. Now, the question is, why have we, can I use the expression, messed up now with the internet? Well, here we go. We're talking about the millenniums, <laughs> all right? We have a whole different situation here. We're talking about technology going crazy. We see here headphones, we see computers, we see printers, we see I mean, things that are unbelievable. We probably can't, we're racing behind them to follow, okay? So, and of course what we're talking about here is e-marketing. Now what is e-marketing? Now, e-marketing, is the result of information technology applied to traditional marketing. We have forgotten that we're talking always about traditional marketing. That's, that's our big mistake. And the reason why we forgot that is here it is. Because all of a sudden, we have the internet, all of a sudden we've been given gadgets and tools like the car, the TV, the PCs, the thing, whatever, all of these things. Everything now has an IP. Everything. Everything's connected. And what we're going to be seeing in the future is probably unbelievable. But let's stay to where we are right now. So we have all this technology. And it's baffling. So, what am I going to do here? And here I need your, your uh, cooperation, can I say? So, this is an exercise. I'm not going to tell you to go to sleep and wake up. What I'm, what I'm going to, I want you to put you in the mindset of what? I want you to put yourself in the morning. You wake up in the morning. Of course, you go to the bathroom, you do whatever you do. You drink uh, coffee, you, I don't know what you do, okay? And all of a sudden, it's time to go digital. So, here it is. There was a study, there is a study, a very significant study, that, that there's four things people do online. And what I want you to think, and to tell me, of course, I'm not gonna give you the next slide if you don't tell me, is this. What is the very first thing after you drink your coffee or during your coffee that you do in the morning? Check your mail. Check your oh, mail. I can't believe it. <laughs> Immediately. Okay, good. So watch this. That's before the coffee. Yeah, maybe even before the coffee. Actually, I wanted to put the slide where the person is already in his bed and he's looking at his, yeah. his mobile. All right. So here we are. They connect. That's the very first thing. Okay. So we send messages. We uh, share files. We, we chat. We, I mean, we do all these crazy things. But we communicate. The key word here is communication. Connect and communicate. That's the first key word. Now, what's the next thing we're going to do? after we, we do all this communication, and I'm sure you all do it, and don't lie. Share Facebook. Sorry? Ah, that's right, thank you. Do you all agree on that one? Yes. No. So here we go, enjoy, all right? Because the, the, the Facebook, well, anyway, anyway yeah, surf for fun, good. watch videos, download games, play, uh, listen to music, all of this is the second thing we do, enjoy. Okay, what's the third thing? Go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the third thing? <laughs> with your phone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course with your phone. <laughs> Check your calendar for the day. Yeah. Okay. Buy stuff. <laughs> well, I'll help you a little one. Huh? Should I help? Yeah. Okay, good. There it is. Learn. Uh, right. In other words, we say, what's the weather? I mean, uh, yeah. what's, how do I go from here to there? Where is there? We, we, we take courses online, all right? 
All of this is we learn. Of course, here, uh, because of all this gigantic amount of information, we also have false news, we have, uh, we have a lot of problems. So they're going to solve it, I'm sure. Technology is going to do that. Now, and we do all this. Now, tell me the fourth and last thing that we do. Now, this one is really cool. Give us a hint. No, 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 no hints. <laughs> Right? Uh, thinking about vacation. Oh, you're close, you're close, you're close, you're close. Huh? Buying. All right. Buying. Buying. That's right. Trading or, yes. So for those, those organizations where they're out to sell, right, companies, the very last thing, the last thing, that a user is going to do on the internet is that. You're not going to say, I, you wake up in the morning and say, whoa, whoa, before we start anything, let me take out my credit card, put it on the table so I'm ready. No, 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 you don't do that. That's the very last thing you do. So we, when we start, when we decide to do anything, business on the internet, we have to have in mind that we compete with all the three, three things that we saw before. Communication. Second one was? Fun. Good. Fun. Fun. And Learn. learning. Now, here is the opportunity. Now, this is opportunity here, what, what I'm going to tell you. Since we know that this is what they're doing, we have to be there when they're doing those things. And we are not supposed to be only here. That's what we forget to do. We have to take all of this, and I'll see if it works, go back, and say, can we be, where can we be here? We can't be everywhere, of course, because it'll cost you money, it'll cost you time, it'll cost you a lot of things. We'll see later on a couple of things. And where can we be over here? And where can I be over here? That's what we have to be all, not in all, as I said, but we have to be there. It's not just simply the last thing, the last thing, the ultimate last thing. This is the last thing. Nobody, I mean, look at yourselves. Did anybody, did anybody today purchase something online? I don't see anybody really thrilled, huh? Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. I mean, looking at ourselves, I mean, maybe we did a lot of other purchases offline. Yes, we probably did. But we didn't do any online today. All of us in here. Huh? Unless you have a subscription that comes that day. Yeah, that's well, automatic. Yeah. So you're buying, but that's you're right. not physically buying. But you're not, we're, not being, we're not buying on a daily basis something. So it's the last thing. All right, so let me go on further. Let me see if I can remember, because I'm getting old, what's next. Okay, all right, here it is. Now there's another exercise here. Let's assume we have, a, we have this business, and this business is a hot dog stand, all right? Now, I'm not gonna take much of your time. I'm gonna try to condense as much, but yeah. Hope you're having a good time anyway. So, you have a hot dog stand. Where would you, would you go to your, next to your house, in a residential area, to set this up? Yeah. Huh? Why? And the reason why is because the people who are over here, they've got their own kitchens, first of all. Secondly, they would leave in the morning, they're not gonna go and buy a hot dog in the morning. And when they come in the afternoon, definitely they're not gonna have a hot dog, because they're gonna go home to eat, or they're gonna go out to eat and they're gonna expect for you to wait there. So what do you have to do? Where are you going to put your hot dog stand? Huh? So what you have to find is this. Ah, a stadium. That's what you have to find. For your, what I'm trying to drive here is, what you have to do for your internet sites or your internet businesses is position it where the market is and not just throw it up in the air in the, in the residential area because that's what most of us do, unfortunately. All right? 
And, and the reason I said uh, most of us do it, because yes, we know marketing, but we forget about the marketing part simply because it's technology. We gotta get a little confused there. Whereas what we should do is just sit on the marketing part, which we all know, which we study, which we've used, I don't know what, and then take that and transfer it and put it into, into works with technology. All right, so I'll go further down. Which means you gotta do a marketing plan. And I know that most people say, oh yeah, I've got a marketing plan. Of course I got a marketing plan. Do you really have a marketing plan? Do you really, really, really have a marketing plan? Written down. <clears throat> and I know it is a pain to go and sit down every year because you got to do it every year and sit down and write a marketing plan every year. But I'm going to give you a solution because, okay, I have worked in multinationals and every March they used to come around and say, hey, you got to do the marketing plan and this and everybody would say, oh my God, we got to do the marketing plan, <laughs> which was nothing. I mean, you write an act, what do you call it? A composition in reality, okay? <laughs> but when I decided to leave all these multinationals and I had my own company, I said, hey, wait a minute, I've been trained to do this every year. Am I gonna stop it? No. Of course, I don't have management on top of my head and hitting me with it and telling me exactly how to do it. So I have to find my own way. Yes. So what did I do? And I suggest, I, I always suggest this to everybody whenever I'm on this kind of procedure. So what I do is I take a notebook. I know it's a little old school, but it, it works. You take a notebook and you write in pencil. You actually take these things, these items, separate it to that, and carry that notebook every day. I mean, if I open my bag over there, I have that. So a little black notebook, you know, like this, fits everywhere with a pencil. And every time that's because a marketing plan is a dynamic thing. You gotta change it because things change around us. So instead of rewriting and writing the whole thing, etc., because we're Greeks, because I don't know what, I don't know, lazy, we're, I don't know what we are. If you have a little eraser, you can erase things and adjust them. And that's the correct thing to do. So this is what I do. And of course, the one thing that is very, very important to do in, in a marketing plan is this one. I mean, everybody says it, you know. Wherever you go on any seminar and any whatever, they say a SWOT analysis. You know, strengths, opportunities. No, no, do it. And the reason why is because I'm not saying sit down and actually write it in a setting, in one setting. You never should ever do this in one setting. You should have it in the back of your mind and every time you think about it because something happened in the market, because something you, you remembered, I don't know what, you open that notebook, that's where I have that, so I'll show it to you actually when I, when I finish, my notebook, <laughs> and you start writing. And because it's in the back of your mind, new things come up. Whereas if you sit in one setting, you just write a couple of things and you say, oh yeah, that's it, finished. All right, so this one is very, very important. Anyway, I'll go on because I don't want to waste your time again. All right, here we go. So this is what you gotta do. <laughs> All this is your marketing for your company. Now, I'm not going to go in detail with the whole thing, but very briefly, very briefly, you need a website. You definitely need a website. And you have to base your whole marketing around that website. Because that's your house. That is your house. That's where you, you, you accept people to come into your business, your house. Everything else around is not your house. It's not yours. All of this, article marketing or bookmarks or, or uh, emails and uh, especially social media is not yours. What is yours and what you have to build is this, 
your home. It's just like, for example, you go on a, <laughs> you have a, you come, like we are right now, and we're having a drink, and we're discussing, and all of a sudden someone says, you know, because you're, you look not good and cool and I don't know what, says, you know what, <clears throat> we have a, we're going to have a barbecue at home. Why don't you come next week over, over our house? All right? Whereas here, when we're at the cocktail party, it's like we're over here doing social things like Twitter and Facebook and I don't know what else. But when you actually invite someone, that's where you invite them. And that's where he actually comes to your home. And that's where you can tell him everything. And when that person is in there, you have three things to do very quickly. The one thing is they got to know you. They get to know you. The second, and you got to do it fast, because the internet, you just last a couple of seconds on site. The second thing is they have to like you. And the third and last thing for them, for you to get their money, they have to trust you. And you have to do that quickly. Now, there are techniques to do all of that. And you should think about them. I mean, think about it. It's marketing. That's all it's all about. To actually go through these steps. I know you. I like you. I trust you. Once you get the trust, you got your money. It's finished. So, and, this, and the last thing that you need, because here there's a lot of things that you can do, but the, really, the one that really is a big pain and creates disturbance and creates delusions and creates a lot of crazy things to people is this one, social media. And why does this do, do this? Because it's like you've got all these companies coming around and saying, oh, you got, I'm going to do Facebook for you and I'll do a little Twitter and I don't know what else. Wait a minute, do you really need Twitter and do you really need Facebook? Maybe you don't need Facebook. And maybe you don't need Twitter. And I'll give you an example. A friend of mine, uh, he does, uh, <coughs> if, he participates in events by providing services, uh, what do you call them? Uh, you know, the drinks and- Catering. Catering, but for drinks, you know, parties. So, you know, the first thing that anybody would say is you should have, first of all, you've got to have a site, okay? So you can have your testimonials, your pictures, all of these nice things. By the way, testimonials is trust, because everybody else says it, all right? So then the next question was, what's social media? And I said to him, you know, just out of the, I never thought about it. I just said to him, hey, do you have a LinkedIn account? He says, LinkedIn account? Oh, yeah, right. It's very logical, I said. Because you said to me, uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you this, that they wanted to engage with companies. You know, where you know they do their various parties and etc. So how are you going to do that? Facebook? Of course not. But if you do what what you should do is you should go to LinkedIn, I told him, and target procurement and marketing people. Because they have their their their, their, their details there. And you can hit them and then do the appropriate marketing to them. And when the time comes, oh yeah, why don't we call those guys? Those guys are cool. Huh? So, social media, we have, to, we have to use with caution. And not only with caution, or I shouldn't say caution, but you should use, like, know why you're using it. Be targeted. Know why, it's, why you're doing Facebook. Why are you doing Twitter or I don't, I don't know what else you're going to be doing? Because here, this is just a, some example of numbers. There's about, I think, three and a half thousand, six thousand different social media sites. Oh, gigantic number. So, and because I think I said a lot, I'm coming to the last one, the, the one to the last, you need content. There is, you can't get away without writing content. You have to write content. Or I shouldn't say the word write, I'm sorry. It's write, it's, uh, it's audiovisual, it's visual, any type of content which is digital. But it has to be original. And it, most, most important, 
it has to be search engine optimized. Otherwise, you're going to be posting, let's say, even in Facebook, and Facebook will disregard you. Because we all know that, and especially when you have a page, you probably have, I think, 2 or 1% of your posts are being shared around. All right? So the more people like, share, or etc., will give you a bigger boost. But for you to be able to be visible, that content, whatever you create, has to be optimized, has to be targeted, has to write, have the right words, or the words that people are looking for. But content is key. Or as sometime, I think, uh, about 20 years ago, Bill Gates had said, content is king. And finally, I cannot tell you what the future has entailed for us. But definitely, the internet is going to be a chaos. And the reason why I'm saying it is chaos in the good sense. And the reason why is because right now, we are at the internet version 2.0. That's where we are right now. And 2.1 was our sites. And for those of you who know a little Unix or whatever, you have a little Linux, 1.0 is iRead, which is your sites. 2.0 is I read and I write, which is the social media. And 2.3 is I read, I write, and I execute. And that is going to be major. I, that's what they're working for, working on all these universities. Because that's where it's all coming from. What that is going to be, I can't tell you. But it's coming. <clears throat> Take advantage of it. Can you help? You, your IT, you know? <laughs> yeah, the question was, an example of what would be, let's say, two, uh, version 3.0. Artificial intelligence. Artificial, yes, artificial intelligence. That, that's the answer. I can tell you, uh, I can tell you what, what, what will be the next thing uh, for tourists uh, uh, coming from, from Greece to Moscow. Ah. So, <laughs> uh, so now we are creating an application uh, uh, and a website uh, which will allow people uh, uh, from Greece uh, uh, to <clears throat> Uh, send their documents and uh, get uh, the visa online, yeah. uh, and uh, so it will be uh, it will launched the next year. So it, congratulations! It will, it will be Bravo. Launched next year. Bravo! Uh, Good for you. To bring uh, uh, more tourists uh, from European Union, from Greece uh, to Russia and to Moscow. Congratulations for you! Bravo! Bravo. So, I, this is all what I had to say. I'm sorry if I bored you, because this was a boring item that I took upon me, but I had, I had the feeling that I had to go back and touch on what marketing is and why we have to remember it.